knew I wanted to go to college. I knew I wanted to have a career because my parents, uh, neither one, my mother had been part-time to a, a college and ended up raising two boys. And so I knew that the only way I could achieve in this world is to get a college education and go into a field that I really liked. Fortunately, I did that. I, after I got my bachelor's, I went in the Navy for four years because it was post-Korea. Had to, uh, became, uh, went to OCS, became a lieutenant, learned a lot of skills there and, and, and working with other men and women. And when I came out, I was really focused then. I knew more, I knew exactly what I wanted. And so I just, and I had a family, so no fooling around. I just had to get down and go at it. You know, to serve with those, some of those original board members, I think five of them, for quite a while. Jim Garvin, I knew well, and Ben Wells. Uh, that was, it was a real, real experience, and I loved it a lot. I, I liked all the work that I did at the college. Most of the board members were, were always prepared, and we cooperated. Uh, one of the things that we always said, or we were instructed by, is no in-runs, don't come in, try to surprise us. So we read our material, if we had any questions, we'd always call the president and say, you know, I'm a little confused by this. Can you help me with that? So the meetings ran fairly smoothly. And some people said, well, you're just rubber stamping. That's not true at all. One of the things that made our board really strong was our committee system. We had three different committees, and we all served on one committee. And that way faculty and students and any staff would be there, and we'd kind of hammer out the rough issues. And after that, when we came to the meeting, Everyone was prepared, so we knew where we were. We didn't argue about things, uh, you know, hardly ever, hardly ever. So I think that the quality of the board was, I think, one of the best things that I, I observed. And uh, the faculty, I mean, it gave me a real opportunity to meet a lot of the faculty, which I had never known except for John Kay and uh, Desmond O'Neill, who later became a trustee. Uh, they were again, always well prepared, and they offered a great resource for, for the, for the uh, trustees because many of the things about the college we didn't know, especially the academic region of it. So there was about 15 of us that were representing all the community colleges, community college trustees, and I served on that board for eight years, and that way we got real insight on what was going on other than just in our local area. We didn't even know what was going down in Ventura because as close as we were, it was not, we didn't have that association. But on the community college trustees, we had an opportunity to really talk with other trustees and find out what their problems were and what solutions they had. And we saw growth, but we didn't, could not imagine the growth would be as fast as it has. I think that uh, having the Wake Center and the Shot Center took a lot of pressure off of us. I don't think we could foresee that the growth would be as fast as what it was. And, and we've been criticized for taking people out of the community. Well, that's a state law. They can go anywhere in California. And I think having international students is a real plus. And I tell students, you know, focus in on what you think you're going to really like to do the rest of your life. And uh, you may not do it the rest of your life. I don't think people are changing jobs as fast as they suspected they will. but. Things do happen, things do change. Your life changes and you want to, you know, find something that you're really happy with. If you're not happy with what you're doing, you should be doing something else. That's what I would say. I think as I look back, uh, aside from the presidents that I've served with, I think that the trustees were outstanding. I mean, there hardly any trustee that served that wasn't a, certainly an excellent person. Had, they knew what had to be done and they did it. So that that's what kind of makes me hang on it. All my memories are the leadership that I got from other trustees. We worked as a team. So that's what I liked. We had a committee of the board that worked with the architects. So they'd come into a room, we'd talk, and we'd look at this and look at that with the staff. And so that was good, too. And then pretty soon they got away from that. Trustees didn't have that much input as it did in the, in the early days. 36 acres of uh, just it was potholes and everything from, from uh, squirrels and gophers and and so we were really fortunate it hadn't been for Eli Lyria uh, we wouldn't have probably gotten that property we passed a 3.8 million dollar bond issue and it, it passed overwhelmingly that was amazing to see that property and see the first spade of dirt 
being thrown. I think that all in all, it was just a great experience to see the campus grow. It, it, it grew so slowly in the beginning. It was, it's like you didn't, could you really, you, you couldn't remember how, how all of a sudden you went from here to here. I remember the first time I came on campus, uh, I'd never been on a city college campus before and I knew that I was going to run for the board. So the board didn't have this nice, beautiful meeting room they have now. They, they were meeting behind the president's office. They had a small theater there. And so when I walked in and sat in the back and listened to the interchange between the trustees, uh, it, was, it was a good feeling. I knew right away this is what I wanted to do.